What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Seal Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. Also, we will prefer to influence or use the link down in the description. You'll get a free stock just for joining. Don't deposit a dollar, and they will give you a free share. Also, I want everyone to know there's a lot of clickbait videos going on right now. Anyone that needs a Madden beta code for the weekend, go down to GameStop. My local one in Newark, Delaware, had about 50. That's what it looks like when you walk in the store. They'll give them to you for pennies on the dollar. I just did a video where I talked about home field advantage, and I didn't even realize that all that playing of God of War, they don't even know where Kansas City Chiefs play, but I did fire up my beta. I went through every team, and I want to go over just the basics, okay, of what each team's stadium brings to the table. Because some of these are really good. This is a really good thing that EA did. But the follow-through, I just don't believe was there. So the Bears have Bear Down. It's a kick meter modifier. Not anything to do, really, with the defense. You know, all the legendary defenders that have played there, especially in the linebacking core. You'd think maybe a linebacking core boost. I, I don't know. The Bengals. Who day? It reduces the no-huddle clock speed. Bills. Downwind is a kick meter disruptor. You would think perhaps something to do with lake effect snow or weather games. I will say the Broncos, I think they did a great job on. It's called Mile High, where the away team has a stamina drain, which is exactly what it should be. The Browns have Dog Pound, where hot roots don't execute in the red zone. The Bucks have Fire the Cannon, a fatigue modifier. The Cardinals have Rise Up, which helps them gain momentum to trigger these things faster. The Chargers have Bolt Up, which is a bonus momentum, but only for big plays. The Chiefs have Home of the Chiefs, which is an audible modifier. Of course, to mock me, the Colts got Hat Count, which is basically a personnel assessor of who is on the field. The Cowboys, this is astonishing. They got deflected, which is a punt distance modifier. Of course, Dallas would get a punt distance modifier. The Dolphins have a fatigue modifier. The Eagles have a momentum bonus. And the away team actually gains momentum slower. The Falcons have a momentum bonus. I think the most interesting one is Washington has unstable ground, which lowers the agility for away teams. Also, in the art of paying attention, the Giants and the Jets, because they play at the same stadium. Now, I want to let you know, EA, that's not in New York. Because the Giants and the Jets play at the same stadium. They both have Turf Wars, which is a fatigue modifier. The Jaguars have Duval, which is a bonus for touchdowns. You know, they don't get them a whole often, so that's, you know, here nor there. The Lions have Motor City which is an acceleration boost, which is probably going to be the most overused one. The Packers have Go Pack Go, which again is the increase for the home team, slowing for the away team we saw with the Eagles. The Panthers, I'm really interested in this, to be honest with you. I wonder how many people really know the story of keep pounding in Mark Fields and Sam Mills. Because I don't think EA has ever went out and tried to educate their fans of what keep pounding stood for. But it's a stamina boost that the Panthers have. The Patriots, they have their own whole segment where the ball gets deflated. You can actually see the plays before you even play the game. It just shows you every single drive what the offense... I'm just kidding, guys. You know, I mean, as a Colts fan, I got to go with these sometimes. They have our house. It's a momentum boost, but only on third down conversions and touchdowns. The Raiders have just win, baby, which is increased momentum, again, to get these things to trigger, and then a fatigue bonus. The Rams have bonus momentum on defensive stops. The Ravens get bonus momentum on running plays. The Saints have Houdat, which is a third and fourth down route modifier. The Seahawks have disrupted play art on third and fourth downs. The Steelers have terribly distracting to mock their towels, where hot routes fail on third and fourth down, similar to what you see with uh, the Saints. And then you also have the Texans with bullpen, which is a less momentum boost for the away team scoring touchdowns. The Titans have tighten up, which is, 
interesting to me in the fact that it's going to be improved blocking, which sometimes Madden's blocking is irrational and uneducated, but lowered holding calls. What if we're playing a game where I have holding calls turned off? Did I not just completely negate home field advantage for the Titans? Finally, the Vikings have Skull, which is a red zone speed boost. Now, some of these, to be honest with you, I feel are far more overpowered than others. I mean, if I'm going to a red zone speed boost, or I'm going to a team with Washington where you can't move on the field as fast, that's a heck of a lot more impressive than a fatigue modifier, or, oh, your hot routes might not work correctly. So it seems like they try to do the right concept here uh, of really trying to make each stadium unique. But even, even as I went through these, many of them are the same. It's just the same concept with a different title. I don't know if this is really going to implore an entire game-changing feel. Now, I will say, apparently, this is also across the board. So online franchise i would assume madden ultimate team depends if you buy the stadium and ultimate team of course you would have all these available to you which is only going to mean if they go back to selling stadiums the way they used to you know you're going to have those stadiums that are i guess quote unquote overpowered or, or more meaningful i guess to a degree some of these can affect an entire team while some of them can only affect certain players and naturally you just want the odds of something that's going to impact more people on the field so you can have the hot route modifiers never work or never actually adjust properly, whereas you're always going to have with Washington or a few of the other teams, you know, the increase in the team in terms of the momentum or excuse me for the speed. Or if you go back to use Tennessee as an example, the blocking, Th those are going to be consistent. So it is really interesting to see how they went about approaching these. And I will say one thing, put them in the game relatively quickly. So hopefully these are things they can build on. Hopefully these are things they can try to build into the actual atmosphere as the team as well. I, I want to see the crowd reaction to these things. I want to see, and, and listen, I'm not really that big of a presentation guy, but blend the presentation in with this. Show the dog pound when you're at the Brown Stadium and you've got these issues in the red zone. Let us know as a gamer from a depth perspective, from an immersion perspective, why this is happening. When you go to the Raiders, right? When you go to Seattle. That's why I mentioned earlier, how many people really know from Madden what Keep Pounding stands for? Try to educate your fan as to why these things are this way, not just here are some things we threw in the game to make it different. So with all that said, we asked for a very long time, EA to try to go in and distinguish between teams as you play from a week-to-week -week basis. I would love to see these things get increased in the playoffs where you have those elements of maybe you have teams that get a little faster. Maybe you have teams get a little slower. That way, when you have a playoff game, there is a real difference in the feeling. And then, of course, maybe for some games, they just don't even matter at all, like the preseason, like the Super Bowl. So there's a couple different ways I think they can do this to really help distinguish teams and distinguish game to game. It's just, are they going to continue to build upon this or is this going to be something that goes in one and done or we never actually see it in the game? I can tell you playing the game, going through a couple of these, I really didn't notice that big of a difference, but some of it also is placebo because you're telling yourself it's there, so therefore it must be there. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. I will be back in the week with more commentary.